Welcome back, witches, wizards, and muggles. So today we are unboxing, yes, the very one that goes with this wand stand. Yes, the Hufflepuff wand stand. If you missed this video, I will put it right here. But yes, we are unboxing the Hufflepuff house wand. And for those of you that have noticed the yellow lights behind me, 10 points to Hufflepuff. And as always, we start out with the Harry Potter logo on the back. All the nice trademarks right there so that you know this is the real deal. Flip it over, Harry Potter Wizarding World exclusive design collection. These boxes are so nice. We got that little hint right there of what may be inside. But let's see what this Hufflepuff mascot one is all about. Right off the bat, we get this Harry Potter trademark card for the Hufflepuff. It reads, the Hufflepuff mascot. Inspired by the humble and industrious badger, this unique house wand celebrates the iconic, often underestimated animal. Embodying a Hufflepuff's value, this delicately designed wand is for those who treasure hard work and loyalty. And for those of you that didn't know, I am a Hufflepuff. Hello, fellow Hufflepuffs. Another 10 points to Hufflepuff because I can do that, right? All right, now we pull back the yellow indicating that this is indeed Hufflepuff. And we see the one, my first look, possibly your first look. But as always, we take this thing out of the box together. Oh my God, this one. It's insane. And I really need to jump on this closer look. Harry Potter exclusive design collection in the Hufflepuff mascot one. I cannot begin to explain the detail of this one. Let me tell you right now that this video does this one absolutely zero justice as it sits upon the Hufflepuff wand display it's official we've got the wand stand we've got the one the hufflepuff wand collection at least for the house is complete i'm not gonna lie this one right here what do you what does it remind you of what does it the never ending story like what is it like a dragon or some sort of bearded dragon or lizard or something i don't know i can't, it's been so long since i've watched it but this dead reminds me of the never ending story so come with me as we fly on a dragon to reviewing this half buff one <laughs> all jokes aside this is a badger so the Hufflepuff wand is a badger, and we can see it really nicely right there. And the head, we get the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the ears, and we kind of have the texture of a badger. I'm not sure. I've never seen, let alone held, a badger. But this one is extremely rough. Video and me touching this one and showing you cannot describe how rough this wand is it's like you took a really super rough tree branch that had a lot of bark and everything on it like all kinds of bark bark over bark over bark and you put it on this wand. it is extremely rough the only soft part of the one i would say would be the the very tip of this wand. speaking of that let's get the wand measurement right now so as always we get the muggle measuring stick because they go to any great length to avoid magic they could just simply probably point their wand at it and measure it but no we have to get these muggle measuring sticks because you know what i don't even know about these muggles nowadays so let's gently set down the wand 14 and a half inches right there as we move over to the centimeters we have 37 centimeters so this is a fairly decent sized wand 14 and a half inches and 37 centimeters this wand is actually pretty long but like i said i cannot show you all the details of this wand i could only get as close as i can so that you can see exactly how rough this wand is it is insane the detail to this wand it's really crazy when i unboxed it i didn't know what to expect it looked really rough 
But now that I kind of look at it, I like it. And it represents the Hufflepuff pride that we all know and love. So if you're a Hufflepuff, drop a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this wand.